Your ability to quickly change and adapt in helping your company quickly change and adapt is the difference between excellence and irrelevant. Taxi companies could have done what Uber did, and they didn't. Change doesn't fail because of bad models. It fails because of faulty leadership. Now, when I got married, my wife said to me, Randy, I'll never ask you to change. And I thought, cool. She then went on to say, I do expect that you'll continually adapt. <laughs> Company gonna write that one down, aren't you? <laughs> Hello, I'm Randy Pennington, and for over 25 years, I've done basically one thing. Help leaders build and sustain a culture that delivers positive results in a world of uncertainty and change. The culture always wins. A great transformation and change effort with a resistant culture. The culture always wins. If we can change the culture, we change the results. Culture has been sort of hijacked. It's been hijacked to think that people to think that, that means ping pong tables and foosball tables and beanbag chairs. A place that has fun that doesn't deliver results, yeah, that's not a company, that's a party. I love it, it's very natural, easy to identify with, and when he's talking about excellence, and he uses excellence to prove his point, and I thought it was outstanding. He's a lot of fun, but he's also got a lot of information to, to um, share. He's a very compelling speaker, I like how he tells stories. Not really a big note taker, but today I'm taking notes. I'm an ideal resource for your event or corporate development program if you're frustrated by a lack of urgency, accountability, and collaboration. If you sense that your team needs to move from being tentative to being nimble to flourish in today's marketplace, or if you want to turn the ability to change faster and more effectively into a competitive advantage. CEO of Blockbuster came on a, an analyst call and said, as for the competition, we're not particularly worried. The Blockbuster brand is so strong. Athletic teams change their coaches when? When they lose. Now, living near Dallas, there are some exceptions. <laughs> Organizations change when, in see, if you first thought they're in trouble, then we've missed it. The biggest barrier you will face to change is probably not at the top and probably not at the bottom. It's in the middle. Drop your hands now. You guys are enjoying this way too much. <laughs> Person B, what did I tell you to do? Nothing. Nothing, but what did we do? We resisted. You see, here's the thing. A lot of the resistance that you have to change is our fault. Now think about that model that I gave you. Choice, where you put your focus. But see, in that face of resistance, we don't put our focus there. We put our focus on, we gotta push back. We make a different choice then we take a different action. And when that happens, it creates the habit and all of a sudden our habits define our culture. That's the way it works. But you see, crisis only works short term. See, once people get out of crisis, then they go back to the way it was. And I want you to think about the future. The perspective isn't responding to crisis. The perspective is dealing with opportunity. What I want you to do is change the conversation to not, they would never let us, but how would they let us? Not that could never work to how could that work? Seven last words of any organization. We've never done it that way before. In a world where more, more and more businesses are becoming transactional based, I think the strategic advantage is to become partnership based. Yes, you have to be good at the transactions. Transactions are fundamental, but the advantage truly becomes partnership based. So here's the question I want you to ask. Are your customers going back and selling for you? Here's the news. Somewhere in another hotel, in another city, perhaps on another continent, your competitors are still, today, talking about all the same things you are. 
They're still saying, gee, we have to quickly change and adapt. We have to embrace disruption. The present should be guided more by the future than the past. What will you glean from this conference? What will you capture in information in the hallway? What are you going to do today that will guarantee your success tomorrow? The mind stretched by the possibility and the potential of a new idea never returns to its original shape. Thank you all. Thank you for what you do. Thank you.